Okay, you guys, um, I realized after I stopped recording that I hadn't picked a Law of Attraction card that I had wanted to. And because this is Taurus, and I think of the Earth signs as being that easy form of manifestation of all the signs, because it relates to tangible goods, I thought that I would just do a very quick a card pull from this deck uh, and I hope that uh, that uh, tree cutting stuff doesn't happen right after I did the last one I heard the the saw so it hopefully it won't happen again so I'm going to pick this card oh interesting it says visualization I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point that's like you know a um Here's the actual card. That's cool. That that reminds me of um, vision boards. And uh, you can make electronic vision boards. I think there's an app to make collages. I've never done so myself. And I have been intending to do this, actually. So I think I will do that. You can do this at the time of the Taurus New Moon, if you want. And this would especially be good for things that you want to buy. Uh, because... Taurus represents not only your earned income, but also luxury goods. Or you could say things that are not just necessities like socks and underwear, something mundane like that, but something more, a little bit more uh, exciting that is, that maybe they're uh, big ticket purchases that you've been wanting to make. And in general, anything in the 3D world that maybe it's a house that you want to manifest, definitely visualize it. I can't find this one book I have. It's about um, conscious co-creation or something like that. And one of the things that they said was that actually we always think of raising our energy, like the kundalini from the base of the spine going upwards through the to the highest chakra, the seventh chakra, the, at the crown of the head. But actually what they said is when you're manifesting, when you're bringing something into physical manifestation, you're starting at the top and going down. So we can think of going up as good and going down as bad. Um, you start in the realm of thought and you end up in the physical manifestations. So it starts like if you want to look at it in the physical body, it starts in your brain and then it goes down into your hands, into what you're doing to make something happen. So I guess you could say that saying pray and get your feet moving is somewhat similar to that, where you're combining either visualization. I, I don't like the idea of praying. That sounds like begging, and it sounds like you don't have any power over your life. I would rather visualize than, than to pray and the, in, in, or meditate. They say praying is talking to God and medita meditating is listening to God. So are you somebody who likes to talk and you don't like to listen? And it's like, please, please, give me this, give me that. And if there's like this, I don't know, it doesn't have a good feeling to me to be asking for something. Now, I do think you can ask and it shall be given, which is the title of uh, one of um, Abraham Hicks books, but you know, I think it, you know, it's in the Bible, right? So it's something like that, but that's different. That's not begging. To me, praying is like begging and I could be wrong. And I, I know that people pray for other people, but even with praying, I'd rather affirm things like I know that this person is going to be healed rather than please let them live, please. You know, that kind of thing. There's like this desperation attached to praying sometimes that I don't like. So I would rather visualize or meditate, but you may have a way of praying that is not, de doesn't feel desperate to you. So I don't want to get off on that tangent. I just wanted to bring up the power of visualization. Some people are not good at visualizing. I, I feel like when I do those um, meditations with visualizing, it really doesn't do it for me. So 
if you're like me, it could just be as simple as meditating upon something, having a mind, a picture in your mind of it. To me, that is visualizing, but maybe it's more passive because you're just meditating on the image and you're not actively engaged in it like it's really happening. Because they say you have to feel the feelings in order to experience it manifesting. And that actually brings me, uh, brings to mind something that I do do. And you may like this one, you guys, especially if you're like me and you're kind of active in your mind where you, maybe you have a hard time visualizing. I, when I take walks and I usually take purposeful walks, you know, going to the store, for instance, or going to the library, what I do is I use that time for visualizing what it is that I want to manifest, the dream life of mine. And I put myself in those situations. What am I doing? How am I living that life? And to me, yes, that's very attractive where it attracts it to you. So definitely, if you're the kind of person that has a hard time sitting still, um, do it while you walk. If you live, you know, within a few miles of a grocery store, instead of jumping in a car or even riding a bicycle, walk. So you have it a slower pace and you can actually have time to think and dream about what you want. I guess you could do it while you're riding a bike. I've done that too. But definitely kind of um, when you're doing physical exercise that is of a leisurely pace, it can put you in a great state and even a meditative state in a way if you want it to. And that gives you that fertile ground for visualizing what you want. So I'm glad I remembered this and uh, you take care of you guys.